So let's grab our four uh, modelling balloons, our four 260 balloons, uh, fully inflate them all and tie them at the end. So uh, we'll just grab those now. So we've got our 260 modelling balloons. We've got four of them. As I said, they're all fully inflated right to the end. So no tail on the end. And what you want to do is just grab all of them, approximately in the middle, grab hold of them like that and give them a good squish in the middle and twist them all together like that. So you get something that already are looking like tentacles or the spokes of a wheel. Right, the next thing we need is an 11 inch uh, black balloon. Um, <clears throat> this is, when fully inflated, this balloon is 11 inches uh, and I have fully inflated it. But before tying the knot on the end, I let some of the air out uh, and I would say this is sized to somewhere between six, six, six and a half inches in diameter. And it's important that you do inflate the balloon fully first because what that does is it stretches the balloon and that will make it easier to do what we're about to do next to this balloon, which is give it a good squish. So you may need to press this against you a little bit. So it's quite therapeutic. <laughs> so you need to give it a good squish. Don't be frightened of it. And somewhere in the middle, grab hold of it like that and then put a twist in like that. So you've got two, two bubbles. And it doesn't matter whether the bubbles are even or not, but you've got a twist in the middle there. Okay, so you should have something that looks like this, approximately, and something that looks like this. And the next stage is all we're gonna do is put the two together. And we do that by finding the center of the clusters, both clusters, and just wrapping them into one another like this. So just wrap those spokes around that twist that you put into the round balloon. And you end up with something that looks a bit of a mess like this. <laughs> so, we have something that does look quite spider-like now. And all we need to do is give the balloons a bit of a, a shape and we start to get spider shaped legs and you do that by you just grab hold of each leg put a sort of a, a Z bend into it and just wiggle the balloon from side to side like that and you start to get those, those, bends, those bends in the legs right so we have our spider the next stage is to take an uninflated 260 balloon and just wrap it around that join in the middle so you've got this bit hanging up and you want to take another 260 balloon it doesn't matter what color and fully inflate it and then let out a load of air um, so that you have um, the air just at the end of the balloon and this long uh, dangly bit. And what you can do then is just tie these two bits together. And so we have something that the children can do this with, which they find enormously satisfying. I can understand why. So, last of all, we want to add a little bit of character to our spider, and you've got a couple of options for doing this. We want to give him or her some eyes. Now, what I've got here is some of the um, wobbly eyes that you can buy at um, party and, and hobby stores. And all you need to do is get a little blue dot. You put the little blue dot on the back, just give it a bit of a rub, um, because these glue dots, they need a bit of warmth just to um, come off the, the last bit of uh, cellophane. And then we just want to stick these googly eyes on the front there.
and there we have our googly eyed spider now if you haven't got the wobbly googly eyes or you can't find them you do have another option the other option that you have for making the eyes on the spider is to just use a white paint pen so um, and I'll show you how you can do this so I won't draw eyes I'll draw a mouth instead but just using your white paint pen you can just draw whatever features you want to on this spider um, it's probably not looking too scary at the moment you can add all sorts of embellishments and um, do whatever you you like with him really so um there you have it a halloween spider <laughs>